Hello! Long time no see. I have been away, but I wanted to film today, if you can see me. Basically, I have been away for some time, but I felt like filming today because today I'm going to a book event in Copenhagen called Louisiana and I'm finally meeting some of my favorite authors, which are Paul Auster, Sigrid Husvedt, and also Sadie Smith, which I don't know if she's my favorite, but I really admire her books and I want to meet her. So I thought I would take you along with me. I need to make me some breakfast first and then I am off to Copenhagen. actually my first time filming with my glasses which I really really like I hope you like them as well I really hope that I will be able to film at the literature convention otherwise this vlog is going to be a complete fail so I have reached the time in which I need to find right now you're standing on my bookshelves I need to find some books to bring with me which I would like to have signed if possible so of course I'm going to find a book by Paul Auster I just maybe just come with me I just need to figure out which one and I have a few here but one of my favorites well my two favorites of his are Sunset Park and Invisible but I'm not going to fit both of them so I think Ah, oh, this is so hard. I think I might go with this one. And then I also need to find a book by Siri Hustwed. I would like to have signed if possible. Hmm, maybe, I don't know, because she's not one of my absolute favorites. And I don't really remember her books. I do own them though. What, what should I pick? I have no idea. This is the newest one, but this these are her fiction books which i remember reading oh this is tough maybe just the lightest one because i have no space in my bag this this might be the one and when it comes to sadie smith i have no space in my bag whatsoever this is all i can fit i actually also have to fit a book i want to read on a train and i don't think it's going to be possible maybe today will have to be a an audiobook, a podcast book, a podcast just listening day on the train. Bye bye, see vécu, une histoire que j'ai surtout euh, ressentie dans ma peau et dans ma chair. Je me suis rendu compte qu'à chaque fois que je racontais cette histoire... When there is no objective reality for a work of fiction, mm. it is not historical. So what is the measure? Not talking about myself as a writer, but as a reader. If you read a writer who <laughs> sentimentalizes something, mm. or um, does something that is inconsistent with the character he or she has built up, mm. Then, as a reader, the alarm bells go off and you say, this is false. Mm. If you ask anyone mm. 
that simple question, <clears throat> what do you think the mind is? People are going to have a very hard time uh, answering that mm. question. The outer circle was the war and all that went with it. American soldiers in Vietnam, enemy combatants from the north and the south, Viet Cong, Ho Chi Minh, the government in Saigon, Lyndon Johnson and his cabinet, U.S. foreign policy since the end of World War II. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't want to be rude. I already stuck up your side. You're just doing it. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, would you mind signing? Thank you. It's an F or PH? PH. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi. Hi. Um, Who? Uh, yes, exactly. And your name? With Helene. Helene. Uh, yeah, with Helene. Helen. 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 With an E. Yeah. E. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Danish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so that was quite a success. I did not expect to sit that close to Paul Oster and Siri Husvet which was amazing. I was able to see their reactions and just their faces, which was brilliant. And I did not expect to, well, I was hoping that I would be able to get their autographs and I did. So let me just show you Invisible, which is one of my favorite books by Paul Auster. I now own signed, which is quite a fun memory to have. And also Sigrid Husvet, I chose this book and I also now have this one signed for Helene, which is quite amazing. I actually started reading this one on the train, rereading it. I read it some years ago and so far it's just an enjoyment and I'm loving it. So that's it for today, I guess. I don't know why I'm sitting on the floor. I just felt exhausted and didn't want to carry my camera in my hand because that's exhausting obviously i think i'm going to call it a day now even though it's only nine o'clock i feel like i need to go to bed pretty soon and just think about all the amazing things that have happened zeus is somewhere down here he is thrilled that i'm home and I just want to spend my night now with him and with my thoughts on today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and until my next video, happy reading.